Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another pickups video. Thank uh, you. Thanks yes, for uh, welcoming We've had two trips to the thrift store, one quick one that I did the other day, and we just got back from this morning going ahead. Uh, I got to start off with the video game stuff. Not video a game stuff? Amanda pulled out video game yes, stuff? a Super Nintendo controller, an actual, you know, from 1991. Yay. Nintendo brand, Nintendo controller. Uh, Art Uncharted 3 with uh, the manual and everything for the PlayStation 3. The game you've played on PlayStation 4. Um, I found one thing for myself, which is the find of the week for me, but a Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on 3DS. And now I have, yes, now I have all three versions. Played on the Wii U, on the Switch, and I'll play this. And wow. Yeah, so I wow. play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I'm excited. For like eighth or ninth time in the past year and a half, two years. So nice. Play that. Uh, and you found these Simpsons Pong Ball set with the Duff Beer logo. Quality. Quality things. Uh, music Front found, well I found one sealed meditation set for the store. Um, Aqua Aquarium. I had that. Love Aqua. Yeah. And we also have the Alice DJ Who Needs Guitars Anyway. I don't know anyway. who that is. You would recognize the first two songs on here. Now, Back in My Life and Better Off Alone. I have to play that for you later today. Because I guarantee you would recognize those two songs. I guarantee I wouldn't. Nah, uh, you, you will. You're gonna eat your words. All right, and a couple of VHS finds. Uh, one sealed the Tin Soldier, wow. Sally Struthers. Like and this um, animated 80s sci-fi movie, Light Years. Never heard of it. I have not either, but it looks interesting. Looked it on the back. A two video collection for Barney the Barney. Dinosaur. Just sold some Barney VHS. A few DVD box sets we have. Uh, from the PBS, one of the Ken Burns narrated documentary series, The National Parks, America's Best Idea. Sealed. So that was sealed. And then this giant PBS classic literature collection, volume one. Huge collection. That looks riveting. Those look like all the kinds of yeah. things I would love. Not at all. Uh, we also found a DVD Mirror Mask. Which I don't remember. And this is one you want to watch of M. Night Shyamalan's Lady in the Water. I like Shaman M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, there you go. And I found wow. for the store Billy wow. Ray Cyrus Christmas Comes Home. It's not for you? No. Not at all. You don't want to watch that? Not in the least. I think you should watch that. I think not. I got some books. Yes. Surprise, surprise. Yes, a whole bunch of kids' books. We have a stores. lot of kids' yeah. books. Just kind of the staples mm -hmm. that we've been we've been getting. Um some new stuff. It's really nice when you can get books for 25 cents or yes. less. Yeah, some of them were less. Yeah, some of them were about 50 cents. Yeah, some and, marked down to, and some of them marked down to 25 from 50 because they're the yellow tag today. So and Jenna some more Ivanovich, Ivanovich. Which we only put up if we have like a bunch of them. Like a yeah. lot. Like but individually. They, do find, they do find if it's yeah. a lot. Yeah, individually though it's not I worth I think we time. should have enough now because we have some other ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You, oh, you yeah, know like that we'll begun. Yes, yeah, because I used to listen to to him all, all the time. Uh, Prairie Home Companion on the uh, PBS. My dad, I grew up listening to hear, hearing that all the time. So, uh, Lake Wobegon Days with Garrison Keillor. I don't know what that is. Uh, he's he's retired now. It's been a few years. So that... And some other mysteries. Some old. These are like old paperbacks. That we found. They're in really good shape though. Mm -hmm. Some young adult. Books, 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 books. This looks awesome. It's called oh Vampire gosh. Kisses. If you were like thirteen, you'd be oh totally. Over. Don't lie. If you were like thirteen years old, you'd be totally over these. It's all over these. No. Yeah. 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 This is not the stuff I read when I was thirteen. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I read. Thirteen-year-old girl. No. Kissing coffins. Vampireville. Vampire Kisses three. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff you would read. That's all the stuff I read. That's actually I read you, like, actually super it. like dark epic fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. I read substance. Yeah. Not like you. I don't know. I've never read this series. Katie read. My sister read those series. And Eric that age. Eric read too. Yeah. I don't know. It was never never something that I felt like after, I needed to read. After our time. Magic Tree House. Junie B. Jones, of course. And I found some more Aaron Hunter, which I've never seen like a dog version yeah, of it. So that's Hunter's cat series. Yeah. Whoever this Aaron Hunter lady is, she did a great thing. She's what? probably making some great money. 
Yeah, they always sell really well. They sell really well, oh. and I don't know what she did, but she made some kind of deal with somebody. Never seen this Clifford book, but it's a Clifford book, so. We have other Clifford books. We've sold these before. These are kind of like wholesome, wholesome teen Holly's mm -hmm. heart. Didn't think anyone would buy these, but somebody did. Yeah. So I bought some when I found them again. And it's they're always in like, thing. they're always in like perfect shape. So I feel yeah, it's like, like someone never read them. I feel like no one ever reads them. And a couple little kids books. We haven't really been doing a whole lot this year with younger kids books. Lot, lots of chapter books and adult books. This is C.S. Lewis. So, I don't know what it is, though. I don't know what this one is, either. Let us know Scrooge if you know what it is. Hmm. But, I don't uh, know. Yeah, C.S. Lewis. I, I literally picked it up yeah. because it said C.S. Lewis. Interesting. I figured somebody would want it. The Alchemist, we've sold this a couple of times. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you. I, just, I knew I recognized it. So, I didn't... The reason he recognized this yeah. is because we finally, finally, I've had the, we have, I bought a lot of these, the series, like two years ago. Two years ago, ago probably. And I was like, wow, this will do great. <laughs> Just sold it like two days ago, I think. <laughs> finally. And then, and but then. But that's why I recognize I, it because I've seen it in like that closet probably like 10,000 times. And then <laughs> I was so excited when it finally sold. And then it comes back. I couldn't remember where. It came back. I couldn't remember where I knew this from. Because like, I, I know saw, I they actually this. had a second one hmm. there, and I'm I sorry. saw it, and I was like, "Ha, good riddance!" Well. And then I looked in our bag as we were checking out. The oh, ah, no. you it did was, it. It was a quarter. No, uh, we found a Jim Henson's Muppet Babies, mm -hmm. and really exciting, a Dr. Seuss book. Not really we're, exciting. Who cares? It's, it's exciting. We've been selling Dr. Seuss. Yeah, we have because we everyone, sold every Dr. Everyone's Seuss. Everyone's on this we weird thing. Oh my god, Dr. Seuss disappearing. It's no, there are like six individual books that they're just not gonna print anymore. It's What's not, your favorite Dr. Like, Seuss book? Not, every other Dr. Seuss book is fine and it's gonna be millions of them out there every day. So the foot book was the first book that I memorized. Yeah. I liked to memorize kids' books yeah. when I was little. But I really liked the the doggy book. This book right here, Go Dog Go. This is my favorite Dr. Seuss book. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Uh, I don't know. I don't you don't know? know? Don't You're know. so boring. What's I'm, your favorite read, Dr. Seuss book? Last time I read Dr. Seuss books, I was like three or four. So I don't. I and you have them. no. <sighs> I don't. I don't really think I had a favorite. I wasn't super into Dr. Seuss. I don't really think I had a favorite. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Because. I can't talk to you. I don't think I had a favorite as a kid. I don't know. <sighs> Tell me yours, because I need to know. You need to know. I need to know. A, B, C. I'll learn that... my alphabet. <laughs> you probably should. <laughs> but that's what we got. Yes, yeah, so pretty good time overall. Uh, Captain Toad, of course, is the best. Yeah, better than but... the private novels. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <sighs> yes, that is awesome. So I'll be, this is one of the next games I'll be playing as I'm still playing Persona Five, which didn't take for a while. Years can take hundred years to finish. I'm playing an indie game. I'm playing the Inner World, the Last Wind Monk. Yeah, you're playing the prequel first. I'm playing the prequel right yeah. now, and it keeps freezing on me, and it's I'm very glitchy. upset by I'm that. Really glitchy. So I'm hoping the main game is not, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Better than Persona. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Ew. Incorrect. Yeah. Mm.